Hi, this is Thin Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Deus Ex Mankind Divided Blind. Now, I'm still looking for one of the people I'm supposed to give a pass to, and I've already made quite a big, quite a big fool out of myself by failing to find the, the woman for so long. Uh, okay, I think I heard somebody shouting here, but... Ah, it was this guy being uh, captured by the police. I've never been the religious type, but this Church mm, of the Machine I can't, God can't ex uh, enter the Church of the Machine God yet because I don't have, don't have the card. Mm. Now, presumably, it points me to, to the exact same location I've already been in. That's where Irenka was, but there is still Edward. And I must say, I don't understand how this quest marker thing works, because it doesn't point to anywhere here, I don't think. Uh, this is a totally different side quest. I'm pretty certain of it. Because uh, this is the one that requires me to steal the, the part in the whole other district. Uh, Palisade Bank... Well, I guess... I can f go to t talk to Sarif for now. Sir. What do you want, Clank? Go on back to your hole before I ship you off to Gollum. <coughs> I uh, hate that these terrorists are weak. I can go to talk to Sarif back in my apartment. Mm. Yes? Now, I do have a portion of Neuropsin. Uh, but there are at least two people around here that want it, and I'm not quite sure which one of them should I give it to. Anyway. Uh, where was the staircase? It's holding this way. How is that possible? Ah, right. Oh. Ours is the man. He'll set you up. And there's the vendor again. How much do you want to spend this time, eh? I need to sell a whole bunch of stuff, actually. Uh, so, I'll keep the pistol just because there are new EMP rounds, so it might actually be useful. I am going to sell this, though, as well as this. Uh, a machine piece of regular ammo. Shotgun. Now, the hydraulic micro pump. Those are. This is vendor trash, right? This and this. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, now you're opposing. Now, I should probably look if he has a stun gun. Mm, he has... he has no... no stun gun, which is a bit of a pity. And 10,000 for a Praxis kit. Well, at the very least, I would like to buy some ammo for the tranquilizer rifle, but apparently he doesn't have it either. Tesla cartridge for the experimental AUG, but I don't have it yet, so I'm not going to buy it. However, with the biocell cost being so low, well, relatively speaking, I think I'll buy two. You want anything else? No. I'll be on my way. By now, you won't have to come back. 
Well, the thing is, you don't really have the things I want. Okay. Now, uh, back to my apartment to talk to Sarif. Ah, I was wondering for a second, why is all this trash in the way? I could have sworn it wasn't here before, but that's because this guy finally got evicted, so this is his stuff. Oh, well, he left some crafting parts. At this point, it's out on the streets, so it's not really stealing anymore. I wonder if I could have done anything about it? It didn't look like it. I tried talking with him and everything, but it's still cool that the world actually changed a little bit to represent that. I really like those kinds of details. Now, mm, first of all, check my emails to see if there's anything new. Any question for you? No? Okay, so maybe I can call Sarif then. What's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan Og? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Hmm. So, yeah, sounds Russian. That's what I was about to say. Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post grad in the US. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? <laughs> yeah, right. Who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy. They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Yeah, I feel like uh, Sarif is entirely correct, correct in his assumption that those new experimental orgs uh, must have been installed after uh, Jensen was, was fished out of Panchea um, and spent his time in that hospital he doesn't really remember that much about. 
Because mm. it lines up with what, what Color said about the age of it. Mm. Now, I still... Okay, I need to get out. Show in map. Okay, I guess I need to exit the location. software. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea what that is, to be honest. But, mm, let me try that again. Show in the map. Yeah, it shows the same location. Like, am I an idiot or what? I've been there and she's there, so it would be weird if they were both hiding at the exact same place, right? <laughs> okay, that's... that's interesting, but also kind of weird. Is that like an anti... yeah, right, 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 right. There's a better solution. Again, it's it's a straight up a fuck. That's kind of horrifying, actually. Uh, this is straight up a depiction of a suicide mm, that's supposed to advertise uh, antidepressants. Now, I actually wasn't here, so maybe this will lead me somewhere. Moodex, mood stabi stabilizer. Uh, I guess if I wanted to kill myself, so this would be a good place, ironically enough, but I'm not sh quite sure what, what its purpose is in gameplay, although... Ah, okay, this is promising, because this, I think this is the same building, so yeah, this is definitely promising. Is anyone living here? Okay, but this door, for one, for once, doesn't work, so... Well, I guess I'm going to check the computer. To see if I can learn anything. Arabia uh, leaflet. Mm, access to 1.3 million uh, logging facilities. Five times more augmentation clinics in every district of the city. Thousand plus neuropathic pickup locations. Mm, okay, there's an ebook here. So let's check this. Fall of the American Empire. Mm. Um, widen existing fractures in the American Union. Yeah, right, because the US actually fractured in the uh, timeline of the Deus Ex games at some point. And some of the states actually seceded, which I guess this might talk about. Uh, increasingly draconian measures. Yeah, the intimations of secession have been heard, mm, particularly in Northwest states and Texas. Now, the NSF actually stands for Northwest Secessionist Front, and I'm pretty sure uh, that by the time uh, of Deus Ex One, the United States 
weren't so united anymore. But going up here didn't actually help me as much as I would have liked. Which is kind of which is kind of sad really. Uh, although maybe I can climb up here. Nope. I can't jump that high. This is still pointing to the exact same location. They say that admitting to your tears is the do. first step in overcoming... I've never been in any kind of legal trouble before. Mm, can't really help you. Nothing to spare, right? No, of course not. No one has any This all points to here. I don't think, judging from the how fake those windows looks, uh, look, I don't think there's anything up there. And I've been down here, and that's where she is. So I seriously doubt that he's anywhere here. Hmm. Maybe I can ask her, although... A world where everyone's treated fairly? <laughs> and I thought Helena was the one in a science fiction. That's a pretty cool prop sword, but... I'm afraid that doesn't really help me find the other guy. Like, it's literally it's supposed to be here. Alarm. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening here. I don't want to leave to the other district yet because I'm afraid that the side quest might actually get cancelled. Do you want to be an accessory? Aspoň mnie ne ignorujesz jako wszystkie ostatni. Dzięki za pomoc. Hmm. Okay, this should take me. This could take me to the roof, but because uh, I can spend a bio cell to activate this, but how would that even help me? Like, I don't think he's up there. That would be weird. Hmm. Don't do anything suspicious. Need hot dogs or marshmallows or something. Oh wait, there are people here that weren't here before. This has nothing to do with you. The old men were supposed to be alone. Heard they're sitting on some cash, Grandpa. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you've done. Ah, so I suppose that's him, but what I don't understand is this shop was looted before and he wasn't here, so why would he... Like, I find the sequencing of it to be weird because, okay, I would understand if, that, if the shop was untouched before, but closed and open now and looted, and he's here, but it was looted already, and it was also open. Uh, and I wandered inside, and there was nothing here, and no one here. But anyway. Thank you. I, I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What do they want? What everybody wants. Money. To feel strong. At first I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now. <laughs> They will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get an old man's hopes up. Unless... My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you? Please, tell me. When can I see them? Uh, I am going to... This is not really a lie. 
is just inquiring about his personal situation. Maybe I can do something to help him. Why would your daughter send me? I thought maybe... Maybe she and the little one finally decided to... to help Grandpa with his permit situation. But... She probably understands that I need to avoid detection. It is better not to make contact. When was the last time you saw them? A few years. Since the day of the... You know... The day of the incident? Mm. The time I ran naked onto a football field as a teenager, that was an incident. This... This was the work of the devil. He closed our eyes, forced us to see what he sees. Mm. So, did he kill them? Or, well... If he killed them, then I guess he would be—he would have to be like seriously deluding himself into thinking that they are still alive. But maybe he hurt them, and they cut off contact with him. That would be really sad. I—I I want to know, but it also feels kind of disrespectful to be prodding him like that. That's a long time not to see someone you care about. It's not their fault. My son-in-law, he. He keeps them away from me because... Well, because... Because why? What am I, on trial? Soon you'll be judging me just like he did. Like they all did. Yeah, that's prob you for what? probably what happened. He hurt them. They say I became a monster mm. in the mm. park. It was during the incident. You were with your family when the signal went out. Daryl's broadcast. It caused all those odds to lose control. I grabbed the youngest by the wrists. We were spinning. We spun like mad. I don't know where it came from. This exhilaration that wasn't mine. It was reckless, I admit. There were mosquitoes in my brain. There was blood. They say that I... It couldn't have been me. Someone else must have... A stranger, after I blacked out. Please, tell me you believe me. Tell me it isn't possible that I did that to him. <sighs> as much as much as I empathize with him and I understand his need to preserve this lie that it wasn't like I feel let me read, read, read what that says exactly. Uh, some of them can't remember or choose not to remember. The truth is, it is possible, but that not... Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I want to say. It is possible, and it did happen, but that doesn't necessarily make you responsible. It was out of our control. That's uh, exactly what I want to say, because I feel like this is actually a better response uh, when it comes to coming to terms with what you did, which you would have to do at some point, especially if you ever wanted to reconcile with your family after something like that, you would have to, if if they kept hearing you denying it, whereas they lived through it, they saw it with their own eyes, uh, they would never forgive you. So you would have to come to terms with the fact that you did it, but it doesn't necessarily make you responsible. Uh, pretty much, uh, t to be honest, I feel this whole org debate past the incident has a lot less to do with the analogies of racism and a lot more to do with the analogies of mental illness because uh, because uh, at this point it isn't any longer about some preconceived notions of a difference between uh, Argumented people and non-argumented people. It is bec it is about a very real fear that uh, the argumented people might lose control of themselves and be a danger to to others, uh, which is something that people tend to think about uh, mentally ill people a lot as well, which is uh, a harmful stereotype most of the time because most of the mentally ill people aren't violent. And uh, if anything, they are much more likely to hurt themselves than they are to hurt other people. But it is an understandable uh, 
analog, uh, I feel like, um, to make. Um, and um, much as it is in the case of mental illness, there are uh, situations in your life when you're not really responsible for the things you do, but it doesn't mean that you didn't do them, and it doesn't mean you can go on pretending that it didn't happen. Uh, that doesn't lead anywhere. When the signal was broadcast, Augs everywhere were made to do terrible things. Things they would never have done otherwise. Some of them can't remember, or choose not to be able to remember. The truth is, yes, it's possible, Edward. But that doesn't necessarily make you responsible. It was out of our control. I said, I, I tried to tell them. Whatever my hands may have done, my heart did not. Yeah. But what kind of defense is that? If I can't forgive myself, why should they? One of them is still alive. And whether I ever get to see him or not, I want to remain as close as I can. I want to remain in Prague. Here, this permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true? Uh, of course not. Of course, I'm not going to extort him after I killed, well, not directly, but pretty much I did lead to his death of the previous guy that wanted to do it. No, I'm not here to collect. I'm here to help. I appreciate that. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. The situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right. I can do that. I will wait here. Hmm. Okay, so now, presumably I need to get back. Elena, yeah. I met with both those dogs you made permits for. Now what? There is a computer at the government kiosk that handles the Augment Permit Registry. You'll have to... access it. Quote, unquote. You mean break in? The code to the server room is 6788. Be careful, there may be other forms of security. Alright, I got it. Hmm. But where would that be exactly? In the other district? Much as all of the other ones? Yeah, governmental registration office. Yeah, right. Okay, so I, I need to go in there. I'm still not sure what's in here. It's the only place I haven't really explored in this district. But I guess to go there I would have to use uh, the tram. Another one. Although, hmm. Is there any other way to go there? Uh, metro. Yeah, I would imagine this is how you get around, right? Now, incidentally, I walked through the natural line and they didn't object, which I find kind of annoying with the high levels of immersion this game is trying to keep. Oh, maybe they do. This is getting to be a real pain. Co pak tady máme? OK, žádný problémy? Tak jo, Augu, můžeš jít dál. Ah, OK, so he does let me go, which is a little bit nonsensical. Like, if they went through all of the trouble to model two separate lanes, then they should have programmed this guard to order me to go the other way around. Although, yeah, and it does open here as well, so yeah, I totally don't get it, actually. Let me go through the other one, just for the lols. You know, I've seen this Raka character being interviewed. No way he's a terrorist. No matter how that bitch tries to twist his words. Ah, that would be the Talos Rucker. The guy that uh, fights for the I'm augmented the rights. People need to understand that citizenship is a privilege and it demands responsibility. 
Okay. More and more of them. Tickets. <laughs> and here it, it shows you the symbol for the credit, but on the parking, mm, it said about uh, crowns, the Czech currency before the euro. Important. I don't know who, and I don't care. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear from you. Anyway, mm, I guess this all goes to the same place, but I'm still not sure why they let me through here before. What? What did, what did you say? Good afternoon, sir. My name ah. is Felice Allman, and I represent the Santo Group. This is about we are Rabia. able-bodied augmented persons like you to help us create the future. Um, I'll listen to what she has to say. Don't take this the wrong way, but this might be the wrong town to hawk a dream of the future in. Don't you think it's exactly the right one? Prague, a city with no respect for the <laughs> He's going to say, I didn't ask for this, I, can, I swear. The choice you made. And you're going to tell me Santos found a city that oh doesn't man, respect you. Oh man, he us. didn't. I'm We're disappointed. Making... You can't deny the world has to change. For the better this time. Augmentations helped us take great steps before. And we can do it again. In Rabia. A concept city. 3D printed. Beyond state of the art. A symbol of evolution. In the deserts of Oman. I've seen the new stories. But Santo's not a charity, and I don't think your stakeholders are philanthropists. That's why they've asked people like me to spread the word, to make an offer. Incentive-driven employment for any augmented person. You'll get a sponsored work permit for the duration of the city's construction. And after that? A guaranteed place in the residency lottery. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty shit deal, because you move there and you work for the time as it's being constructed, but then you only have a presumably rather slim chance of actually winning the, um, you know, the residency permit. So if you don't win it, then they boot you out and you're uh, pretty much in the middle of a desert with nothing. And out of those responses, uh, I feel I feel like this represents my point the best, because I'm not exactly optimistic about this whole idea. To be honest, I find the idea of of those segregated communities to be as i said not only morally wrong but also sociologically uh, like mm, stupid pretty much it isn't going to work it wouldn't work even if you wanted it to i feel uh, this just isn't a good idea even disregarding uh, any moral quandaries you might have about it it's just simply even from a practical standpoint, I feel like this is stupid. You're asking Augs to sign themselves up to a future that was made in a laboratory and built in a desert. Seems a little utopic. You must think when I close my eyes, I see the script they ask us to read from. On message, they call it. But I don't. I see Rabia. Santo is the only corporation in the world to increase its augmented workforce in the past two years. Did you know that? That must be convenient for a construction business. It's the opposite. Our CEO's life has been threatened for supporting the legitimacy of augmented people. But he, Mr. Brown, understands that the augmented saw the future early and rushed to meet it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's actually a really good comeback because the Utulek complex 
is a ghetto for the argumented and it has also been constructed by this very company. I thought the Udalek complex was Santos' future for the augmented. From what I've heard, it didn't go to plan. Not to our plan. Utalek was supposed to be a low-cost, high-volume housing solution for transient workers. It was never meant to become what it has. And why didn't Brown step in? It doesn't look good to have your name associated with an all-ghetto. It's out of our hands. Since the incident, it's been run by the Czech state and their police. That will never happen with Rabia. So this incentive program, positioning Rabia for the Augs, it's all on Nathaniel Brown? Everything. The industrial printing of the city, the archaeological design, the recruiting drive, even the street teams. Mr. Brown met us personally to sign off on us. Would you believe it? Yeah, I think I would. Archaeological? Architectural ecology. Rabia is zero footprint, fully self-sufficient. It is not just his solution for the augmented. It is his solution for cities. It is visionary. There is no other word for it. Right. Unfortunately, most of the visionaries I've met were so busy chasing their grand plan, they lost sight of the little people. What guarantee do I have that life in Rabia is different than the segregation here? Or is that a lottery too? Santo is the guarantee. We keep the rights to the city in perpetuity, never handing it off to people who want the augmented out of sight and out of mind. But that's still exactly what you're doing. Yeah, you're right. In a bubble. That's my born from fear between all. That's my augmented. point exactly. There have always been divisions in society. There always will be. That's why there are walls. Someone has to build the walls, and that's Santo. Well, I disagree. I feel like we should be tearing down the walls, not building more of them. You've given me a lot to chew on. I can't sign up with you on the spot. Just consider it. What I've told you. I'm not trying to sell you the e brochure of Rabia. You've seen it all anyway. They're just pictures and holograms. I want you to believe in the place. Well, to be honest, I don't. Uh... Santos says they're going to make the future a better place. They should concentrate on fixing the present. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to break in here just because I feel augmented people just like you that might end badly. Together. Is that person dead? Is this blood? No, he's How alive. About a few credits? Come on. But what is this then? Is just is it just grime and dirt? You live in the shithole too or just visiting? As if anyone would visit here. Robot with him. Org uprising. Mankind just expired. Well, that's probably a really bad film uh, to be showing at such a time as this, but then again it's probably exactly the reason why they are showing it in the first place. Sin Eater. Mm. Step off, Clank. You and your kind Don't you have anything sick. better to do than waste my time? Think real hard. Uh, okay, well, I don't think this actually goes where I wanted to go, because I need to go, yeah, to to uh, this. However, you would read it. Uh, my my knowledge of Czech is is not sufficient enough. Uh, uh, yeah, and this doesn't. I don't think it it lines up, but. I guess I'll enter the tram and see where it leads me. Now, can I? It's in my head. It makes me think of the old puppet shop. Huh. Okay, apparently this is not restricted, which I'm not going to lie. I find it a little bit weird. 
Äh, Cement. Is there anything worthwhile here? Or what's the purpose of this room? Hmm. Well. The news just keeps getting My worse. God. I guess I'll try to board the A tram. Clank. Although, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, fuck. Do I have to actually wait for it? That would be kind of weird. Hogs. Ah, okay, I have to mm, enter through my own compartment. Oh, and I can actually use, I mean, mm, mm, what's the word? Choose my destination. So I'm going to here. Uh, this is the Palisade Bank. Uh, yeah, I'm going to here. Okay, I'm really surprised by how long that was. But let me ori tell you, orientate myself again. This other one of oh wait no this is actually different. This goes to the sewers, which might be useful in and of itself at some point. But I'm not going to enter them now. The debate hosted by Eliza Kassan. Naisha Akim is uh, like an augmented pop star, I think. Tune in for the Restoration Act debate. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the Restoration Act is exactly, and it kind of annoys me. Oh, no. Busy. I hate watching the news. Wars, famines, murders, diseases. Is it my imagination or did everything go to no, hell yeah. after the incident? No, just no. <laughs> you're crowding me. No, you're right. Thousands of companies closed their doors. Hundreds of billions of dollars disappeared from the stock market overnight. The world still hasn't recovered. I almost lost my house. What is this? Hey, speaking of houses, are you going to that house party on Saturday? Are you kidding? If I missed it, I would just die. Okay, whatever. I have a splitting headache. Stay away, Hanser. Ty pracuješ pro jednu z těch firm tady. Jen málo z nich si nechalo augmentovaný zaměstnance. To změl kliku. Okay. Uh, again, this is probably restricted. We are doing the best we can, sir, but full service will not be re-established for a long while. Mm, timetables for the Prague Metro. Does it look like I have time to chat? I've got work orders coming out my ears here. Okay, I'm not going to enter those tunnels here just because I feel they might be restricted, even though they don't show up red on my map, but still, I don't have particular reason to go there anyway. Now, presumably it's not going to... Oh, again, it lets me through the natural line all the same. Hold it, Clank. Let me see your permit and be quick about it. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, officer. What's the matter, eh? I'm holding you up from some important... Uh, this is a BH-847. Is that what it is? Sounds impressive. Are you going to be a problem? Eyes to yourself. Hmm. You are clear through this checkpoint. Go about your business. I, I, I really feel more annoyed than I should uh, at the fact that they uh, designed separate routes for Orgs 
and naturals and then they are letting me go through either one of those anyway. See what these hogs have done. You should not be in the human line. Oh, well, at the very least, I guess they commented on that. Do I know you? No, I don't know you. So get Used out of to my be face. A beautiful city. Now look. I always get a little nervous when I go into the subway. I don't like the feeling of being trapped underground. You worry about everything. I'm amazed you're willing to take any kind of train at all after the bombing. Did you ever stop to think that this station is named for someone who died during the AUG incident? I didn't before, but I'm going to now. Thanks a lot. Mm. Okay, let me orientate myself. Uh, the, the governmental kiosk is right next door. Somewhere around here? I'm not signing your petition. So I should perhaps take a look at that. Uh, it should be here. What the hell? The hands are here? Well, that's a cool helmet. I wasn't expecting it to open the face shield like that. I, I, I like it, I like the design. And I especially like the fact that it moved. I wasn't expecting that as I said. Wait. How is... There's supposed to be a building around here, and yet this doesn't look particularly building it to me. Oh, I guess this must be it. But I'm also not supposed to enter from the front, am I? Something is going to. How would I? Okay, there's a tourist center on the other side, so maybe I can... Police line do not cross. Oh, it has been vandalized. But still, maybe I can somehow get from the one side to the other. Because mm, I do need it to need to get into the police building to activate the cards. Uh, it doesn't look like I can enter through here. Permit validation office is closed. It's always closed. <laughs> you want a permit so bad? You should talk to this guy named Rahumir. Well. Actually, he's dead, and I didn't even kill him. Uh, but um, I'm rather unsure about how to proceed here, because obviously uh, there should be another another way to get in. There, there often is, almost always there is. Um, maybe I can get through here. Mm, okay, I don't, I, I don't think there's a way. I like parties where other people do. You can learn some really interesting things that way. I don't think there's a way to go through here, which hmm, I find it confusing that there is only a w one way to go to the police building. It doesn't seem right, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't seem very Deo thanks, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I guess, yeah, entering a restricted zone. I might have to actually uh, knock the police out, which. Frick, this is the other. Ah! Okay, I'm screwed here. No trespassing. I'm pretty sure this 
is another security guard and he just saw me through the window. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure why the uh, takedown option is not presenting itself. It's the, they clearly, it's more than a little bit bugged, isn't it? Because clearly he must be aware at this point that I'm here. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what the deal here is, but I should have the code to that. Uh, <laughs> Master felonist, you're right. I somehow doubt that. Uh, Yeah, there's clearly something wrong with how this whole building works. But then again, if I can avoid, I'm just checking to see if there are pocket secretaries or something. If I can avoid mm, fighting them, then it's all the better to actually. And there is a vent, so there was another way to get in here. I just didn't... I just didn't find it. But let me first... Let me hack into this. Uh, okay, I don't have the password, so... Okay, this doesn't look particularly great, to be honest. Uh, because... Uh, it's full of those firewalls and... Um, in the dark here. Maybe I'll have enough time. Access granted. Okay, good enough, I guess. Uh, cameras disable, disable. Uh, permit station deactivated. Wait. No, I, I I want to have it activated. I think I just wasn't sure this is it. Uh, didn't look like. Hmm. But I can't interact with it anyway, so... Throwable printer, project management... So, am I supposed to deactivate it, after all? That would be weird. So how would I interact with it? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, it was the other way, way around. It was disabled and I was supposed to enable it. Uh, yeah, use the permit station. Milena, I got into the ARG permit registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Prague is designed to regulate people to death. What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. Okay, so I have to choose. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to help her. Irenka's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. She's as legit as she can be without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there, please. I... <sighs> Elena, that permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Edward now? He probably ends up in Golem. Or he gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. Now, uh, I helped her because as much as I feel for the guy, uh, like, she's... She, she has some personal problems. And, uh, and by that I mean uh, of a psychiatric kind. Uh, and I feel... Like, I feel for the guy as well, for his story and all that, but I feel as far as being helped goes, she needs my help more because uh, because 
it seems to me that she would have a tougher time to mm, acclimate herself to a different surrounding mm, in the ghetto than he would because she's you know not quite there mentally speaking uh, so but then again I hate to say that because it's so callous but you could argue that helping her is a little bit of a waste because uh, she, she, she doesn't seem to even fully know uh, oh okay that's an, that's a very interesting way to hide the vent I would have never really uh, found that I don't think from the other side uh, it's quite a far well not really that far to be honest but still pretty well hidden I applaud the game for that, but what I was about to say is she doesn't seem to even fully comprehend her own situation. She's literally referring to herself as multiple people and robots on top of all that. But in the end, I felt like the guy uh, is just better suited to handling the situation on his own uh, if he were to end up in the ghetto as opposed to her. Uh, she's she seems pretty helpless and pretty mm, disorganized in her way of thinking. Uh, I'm just standing around here to know uh, that I am at a place that I was already, so that next time I can start exploring from there. Mm. Tento Pamietnik, this memorial is for Bernard something something. Uh, Bernard Bolzanovi, uh, uh, Czech Mathematic. Uh, lo lo logis uh, what's the word? L log how, how do you say it in English? Uh, someone who's concerned with logic, logistic. No, logistician would be consi considered with logistics. Uh, logician? How, how do you say it? I must be getting really tired. Uh, philosopher, theologian, and uh, Catholic uh, priest. Mm. He, I, I don't understand this last part, but presumably this is a historical figure and also an actual memorial, perhaps. But maybe it's going to tell me. Uh, Monument Station is the busiest. No, but hmm. But they said it's built to commemorate someone who died in the Og incident, so that can't be a real person. I'm going to check it just because I'm curious and put uh, info in the description if I find anything. But anyway, mm, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to actually save and end it here. So that's all for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!